okay yesterday we were saying how to read json files so any doubts on that one json file reading no problem so they no problem but uh, did you guys uh, get a chance to go through no no i no. didn't get a chance it's okay but <clears throat> just uh, make sure guys just uh, at least on the weekends just go through what we are uh, doing okay okay yeah. try one one method at least okay okay so today we are going to handle csv files okay so this week this week full of files only csv files then we'll go with uh, excel files okay okay but uh, today we will be see, <clears throat> we'll be handling csv files so why we need a csv files why not excel files any guess csv <laughs> i mean both look same <laughs> But what I got it right uh, in my project also we faced some problems right we don't have Excel inside so <laughs> maybe we are going for this uh, CSV CSV files so is, is, is it because there. Excel is uh, I mean if it is a different platform then CSV will be helpful I mean Excel may not be, if it is iOS then uh, Excel may not be that com compatible compared to CSV uh, right so <clears throat> this was the issue some uh, you know some months or years back okay mm -hmm. it's like excel is owned by uh, microsoft and uh, if we run it on the linux or a mac we will not be able to use those products right so this was the issue they were facing but uh, recently they have uh, resolved it even in mac and uh, linux also they can you know use excel files so but this was the major reason why csv was introduced okay, okay. and mm -hmm. second part is like for handling for example for opening a excel file you need a certain packages right yeah for example microsoft office okay if you are handling with a dot xlsx format but if you are handling with a different formats formats of a spreadsheet then you need a different offices something like open office or something like that okay but so unless we have this particular package or a tool we will not be able to handle this one so they have introduced this csv so csv is not a you know uh, related with a spreadsheet okay uh, it might open in your spreadsheet like uh, it may open in an excel sheet okay when we save that file okay but it is not a excel format sheets it's basically a comma separated sheets yesterday we were seeing the json data right similar to this one we will be having a commas okay so whenever there is a comma there uh, that is considered as a new value okay so for this purpose let's create a new you know inside this file utils let's create a new file called csv csv utils dot ts so that uh, this csv file should contain every single uh, you know operation performed on the csv files okay something like a reading writing updating okay such kind of things so we can write it but uh, before that for a moment sake i'll copy the class structure so for this purpose also you need <coughs> fs okay fs is a file system so whatever file you are going to read from your uh, system you would definitely need a fs a module file system module okay so one more thing i want to ask like why are we using export here otherwise uh, you want to import in other classes right and in the spec file it will be difficult if you want right so uh, it is something like we are telling like it's a public class you can use it in other uh, spec files in other classes okay so i have created a new file called uh, csv spec so i'm going to copy this same json file into here okay now uh, rather than doing this processes just i want to have a simple 
process. Okay, so here we do not have a FS. Let's uh, import FS required. FS dot read a file sync if I'm not wrong. So now we here we have to give the path of the file and then uh, yeah that's it with the sync file. But in case if we are using async means we have to go with uh, you know uh, we have to go with the function and then we have to capture error in case of errors. Otherwise, if it is a data, otherwise if it is a valid file, then we will receive the you know data in the another variable <clears throat> so for this one we have to create one excel or uh, G, sorry csv file so for example in data files let's create a new file called csv data dot csv okay for example here i can write something like karthi chef Take eleven months. Okay, so you can see we have separated every value with comma. Okay, so this is one. Uh, if there is no new line, for example, if there is no new line, means it will be considered as one single row. Okay, the moment if we go for a new line, it will be considered as a new row, or you can say it as new record. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to read this particular file into system. For example, let's go to this place, really in Explorer, and then now we can see it. Uh, the logo comes as an Excel, right? Yeah. If I open it, it will come as Excel only, like it will open in Excel file. In this one, you can see uh, all the values are stored in different different uh, columns. Okay, name and then website name and then uh, number of months uh, it's been started. Okay, even though we have uh, written it uh, comma separated, but it got opened in a spreadsheet. Okay, so every uh, you know operating system will have their own uh, default packages for opening this CSV file formats. Okay, now let's read this file into our system which is csv spec okay for example csv hyphen data dot csv okay this is our file name and uh, for escaping the sequence we will be using one more slash Okay, now if I store this particular thing in a variable, it will be something like string something. Okay, now I am storing it here. Now just I want to showcase only one thing like how the thing will look like when we don't use anything. Okay, when we don't use any package. Okay, let's uh, copy this one and uh, change the conf file. So just make sure that our uh, compilation is running in the background. It will open Google and then it will uh, read this particular file. 
okay and it will uh, print entire thing if it reads something okay if it's not reading anything means it will not print anything uh, pavan i have one question mm -hmm. uh, like uh, sometimes you are using the where sometimes you is uh, you are using the left right i'm checking the google but i'm not able to find the correct answer the thing is like um, when you are uh, you know using a javascript use var okay when you are using a what do you call <clears throat> when you are using a typescript use let okay. okay it will not be that much a big thing actually okay yeah, yeah, use yeah, any yeah. of it anything is fine but you know once you start using a one particular uh, kind then use that kind only okay bro Okay. So it was uh, printing everything in the buffer. Buffer. Sick. Okay. So how to convert this buffer into a string? Even I do not know. Some parse string, some type. Not parse string, but uh, let's use the decoding. Okay. Yes. Eight. Okay. even i'm not sure but i'm just trying to handle the csv file without using any packages most likely it will work because uh, previously it was reading in the byte format now it will read in the format of utf8 so it printed these values right now can i write it as a different you know uh, different values rather than as a single array comma so can i use something like a split by comma yes now let's run rather than a single value we should get a array now so consider like if i have like four lines okay so how will we handle it if we have like four lines something like this one we need to read every line by right? oh. yes you will not read every line but you will read the total file okay so all the lines are uh, separated by the basic principle of uh, csv is all the values are separated by comma Cam. all the records are separated by new line okay okay new line is nothing but slash n slash n so if we split by a slash n will we be able to get as a different rows Yes, bro. Yeah. So yes. you have to keep this in the array. Okay. Again, you split the values using comma. Yeah. The only problem you will face is when there is a value contains a comma. For example. Yeah. For CSV file itself, this is kind of a issue. This uh -huh. is a total, you know, value board which contains a comma. Okay. That is the time you will get the issue. Uh, in remaining times you will not get any issues okay but in case okay if you are uh, reading roughly means we can what we can do is keep every comma as a apostrophe or something okay mm -hmm. while reading a specific value just try to remove the apostrophe and replace it with comma comma okay so we will not be using a normal structure we will be using uh, there is a package called pop up parse pop up pop up pars okay pm install p a p a p a r s c pop up pars okay so install it actually here we should not install for a moment sake i'll halt it We need to install in, inside the protractor batch. Yes. Let's go. Let's open new terminal and I'll install the the new package here. This npm. install pop up parse okay. 
ओके इट गॉट इंस्टॉल्ड विल नॉट गेट एनी यू नो एनीथिंग फॉर दिस पॉप पार्स बिकॉज वी हैव नॉट इंस्टॉल्ड ग्लोबली वी आर इंस्टॉलिंग लोकली ओके सो नाउ लेट्स गो टू आवर ओल्ड पेज ओके आई रिमूव दिस पर्टिकुलर लास्ट लाइन एंड आई एड वन मोर थिंग लाइक Twenty seven days. Okay, I have added. So one more, uh, you know, uh, drawback of one more, uh, one more drawback of the CSV file is like when you want to ignore one particular file, one particular value actually here. Okay. you cannot ignore it you have to give the empty something like this one otherwise if you don't give the 27 and engineer both points to the same value because it will be considered the same column okay okay so this particular issue even protractor will get will not get to know it okay so so here instead of uh, you know reading uh, the file system along with the reading file system we have to bring our uh, new package as well okay for example var papa equal to require okay so you can uh, keep all your uh, import statements in the top so if you want to access any method or anything we have to access this from this one this variable okay i can make it like csv csv module so from this csv module only we have to read it so after reading this particular file so we will be reading everything from the file system using this command only but once we read it we have to change it into an csv format okay that's where our uh, csv model that pop up parse model comes into the play okay so let's bring it csv model dot parse we have to provide the string value whatever we are going to change and then we will be providing one more uh, you know uh, array kind of structure like uh, you we have to provide a few functions one function actually uh, the function is called complete okay complete will you know when this particular uh, module parses this particular string okay it will be in the format of string and when we don't mention our utf8 it will be in the format of uh, bytes okay in the format of buffer actually so when we parse that particular string okay we are here trying to parse it into a csv file and this particular string into a csv format here we are writing a complete function basically complete function is nothing but after reading this particular string into a csv format what we should do okay so we will be storing that particular value into the function so this a complete function will receive the the read uh, csv value okay so something like csv values so now all this that particular string converted into csv right so that will be stored on this csv file okay but here we have to go with arrow and uh, equals and arrow for a lambda purpose we will be using this one so here we can access everything okay present in the csv file so everything is stored in the csv file for a moment sec let me print it and so dot log csv values so let's run it 
So this time we have a CSV values as uh, Karthi, Sanjay, and Loka. Refractor. Let's run and see whether it gives any error or not. Pawan, it will read three lines, right? Or we need to separate? No, now this package, uh, you know, the model we are installed, you know, it okay. will give us a different thing itself. Okay. Okay, here we are receiving data. Okay. It's a key and it is value. Okay. This is a key and this is value. This is a key and these are values. Okay. Now, instead of printing everything, if you want only a data, okay. So basically here, we're here, right? In the CSV specs. In the output, as I was showing, it is in the format of key value. Yeah. So shall we able to get this data? So we can use dot data itself, dot data. Okay, so it will uh, give only this particular value. This particular part, it will print. Okay, if we can see here, it is one array containing three values. This is another array containing three values. This is another array containing three values, but this total things are considered in an array of data. Okay, data array contains all these things. Now let's run it. But uh, before running it, just a guess how can we access a value from a data? Sorry, from an array. Any guess? Yeah. Give? Using, using index. Index. Okay, so index starts with? Zero. zero. So here, what would be the zero? Zero would be Karthik, Jersetic, and uh, 11 months. Okay, so we are, okay. Uh, let's print both of them. Zero. Okay, zero and the complete data. Okay. Now if I run, it should print the complete uh, data and as well as the first row in the data. Okay, now here we were uh, printing with the uh, index of zero as the first row. So <clears throat> remaining thing, okay, here, we have received this particular values only, the data values. Okay, now this particular is a data of zero. Now, does it look like an array again? Yes. Yes. Zero. So is there any way to access the array again? Dot data, zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero. Okay, it, now, will, it will print first. Right. So any doubt on this one? No. No, no right? Okay. So let me run it. Okay, is it printing? Yes. Okay. So, and one more thing I want to ask. So, what other property a array can have? One is uh, based on indexes, we can uh, handle all the values. Okay. Based on assignments, we can change the values equal sign. So, is it possible to get a data? Oh, sorry, the length of the array? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, in uh, dot length. Dot length. Okay, so this is the thing. Let's this does does not have a, that. I mean, when we put dot, it this doesn't come as a suggestion length. Uh, no, it didn't come. It didn't come as a suggestion. We are going with uh, some other uh, packages, right? So okay. sometimes it may or may not give. Mm -hmm. So just uh, you need to uh, remember them. Okay. That is one way. So if consider like, if you are not sure of one particular data, just you print them. Okay. 
print them without appending with a string that is important okay you should not append with any other string or anything value because the moment you print with a string or something it prints object object okay okay so if i can get a length of this particular uh, you know data so here uh, what is the length actually means here i think length will be 3 okay so what it points columns or uh, rows rows okay. it is rows <clears throat> if i put uh, index of 0 then dot length what would be what will be the result if i change it to like change it like this one uh, again it will be 3 this time it's pointing to first row i didn't get you first row first row and number of columns yes so now if you have a number of columns or number of rows okay is it possible to iterate a particular row yes for example yes yeah for row for let i equal to 0 and i plus plus sorry i less than can i take it as a length length of consider like i want to go for number of rows mm. okay now i'm going to read only a specific you know or uh, column here we have the names right three yeah. names mm -hmm. so let's print uh, that particular uh, name salon okay so now we will be iterating everything but we have to print it right so let's bring the print statement and <clears throat> so here what we need to write just give a guess like how the data will come so this is your complete structure what uh, this data is going to return this csv values dot data is going to return this one now guess i want only this particular uh, you know column karthi sanjay loka these three values the first I column we we need uh, i just put i i of 0 no no i, I and then 0 i and 0 sir yeah i and then 0 0 will it give the all uh, these values yeah, it will give karthi sanjay and loka okay let's see so there is no other prints only this is the only print we are going to do so it was able to print these three values karthi sanjay loka okay any doubt on this guys no uh, okay so <clears throat> for example other otherwise around let's bring this loop outside out of this uh, module okay and uh, bring the csv uh, let's remove this values and just you know, keep this only particular <coughs> reading part and assign some assign this value into something which is called csv values okay now uh, what i'm doing is like i'm bringing the values outside of that particular block okay rather than using inside if we are going for inside means it will be like a bit difficult to access if if you want to access something uh, outside that particular block so here i am trying to print outside will it give the same output yes let's try is it giving yes okay now you might have seen sometimes not only this commas sometimes you may have a different separators right yes you may have something like uh, like this or you may have a uh, tabs 
okay for example let's consider the greater than sign so when we have other uh, symbols what we have to do is we have to add one specific a uh, parameter to the reading of this csv model okay when we read a particular string so this is going to be our string which we want to convert into comma separated or uh, into a you know array of arrays okay now we want to go with uh, some other delimiter rather than going with comma so how to achieve it so we have to provide a delimiter okay <coughs> delimiter and it always takes key and values okay so the value is uh, the greater than sign okay now by default it takes comma but now onwards it will take this greater than sign as a separator when this delimiter is a keyword or we we define uh we don't define them uh, this belongs to a keyword basically this pop up bars okay okay so some of the things you might not be able to uh, you know go here okay uh, like other uh, you know other products so what you have to do is you have to uh, visit this npm uh, repository okay okay so from the npm repository we will be able to get to know all the details like what are the things it accepts even i was not knowing for uh, while writing this tutorials no that time only i got to know like how to handle different different cases okay okay so now uh, we are uh, separating all the values you see angular braces now let's run this time rather than uh, printing the names i want to go for first row rather than the zero row say some define go with the comma so single of first row trying to print everything rather than data it's trying to print uh, all the values okay so it is okay uh, let's ignore as of now we'll come back to this one again so sometimes you will have no what do you call sorry here you might have a headers okay header is nothing but to denote that what kind of uh, values this particular column contains okay so okay here uh, the headers also follows the same format like uh, what we were doing previously sorry so it is something like header names comma sorry let's change back it to commas names comma uh basic comma h okay for example consider this one now we have a name designation and h uh, for moment sake i am writing okay 28 days don't consider like your 28 days 
okay now when we have uh, that particular you know uh, header we have to explicitly denote this parser that we have a header okay for that we will be using header and then we will be providing true okay so we have to say that we have a header and ignore the header okay now if it works fine what it should print is it should only print try to print the values from this one it should ignore the header let's try to print it Something messy is happening. We are reading it. Let's try to print the complete one. Why we are receiving the undefined? So we are getting all the details, but uh, still something thrice. Yeah, three times it got printed. It's okay. Uh, Sanjay, you were saying something else? Yeah, this, um, it's because of the loop. It printed three times. Printed three times. Okay. So if you want to access a specific header, okay, we can go for a specific header as well. Okay, for example. If you want to read only a particular header means you have to provide that particular field name from here. Here we have cage, right? So we have to provide this particular <coughs> header so that it will print only that particular values. Okay, I'll explain why. This can be uh, iterated. Here, what I missed is like, sorry, we have to add the, uh, you know, the row number we have to add. So it was trying to print all the ages like uh, from the first row print age from the second row print age and third row print age okay so at the same time let me add delimiter as well that should work fine Okay, except delimiter, it works fine, but uh, delimiter is alone, it's not working. Okay, but uh, let's try to print it actually. So rather than printing the complete one, let me print only the uh, data. So not data actually, the total file, so that we'll get to know the informations like what is the metadata and what is the speakers and uh, what are the things. Okay, 
type delimiter and detectable delimiter okay it was not able to uh, detect the character is this spelling mistake uh i didn't get you is it uh, because of spelling delimiter spelling am i yes i didn't say it is it case sensitive uh it is not case it is case sensitive yes so if you want to know it no actually in the first case it's no it's not case sensitive actually okay okay so we can go with the small dates of and let's see uh, now what we want to print is we want to print the uh, data data of you know first row and zeroth column are uh, something with names okay so we we are expecting now the names to be printed karthi sanjay and loka so let me execute so here we are using header and delimiter actually that was a spelling mistake yes okay it works fine so any guess on how to write these files csv files no uh, it is something like you know whatever the file you are going to write you can write it just you have to make it a comma separated okay for example if i want to write something like this one something like uh, let str equal to x comma y comma is it if i have this string can i store it as a csv file this particular value as a csv file so for that one what you have to is you have to use file system right file sync okay so you have to pass the file name okay file name could be anything for a moment sake i'll use the same please and write data okay and then we have to provide what data we are going to write okay will it write a csv file or not Hmm. Should we give str or uh, x? I mean, we can give str as well, right? Sorry, yes, str itself we can give. Okay, so basically here uh, our target data. Okay. Okay. Let me run it. on the files it should be there so this is the file we are trying to write so it is there the data is there so it will create a file by name csv write data and then write it yes okay. if it is there it will override it override okay okay so if if you want to preserve then is there any keyword preserve in the sense like you want to keep the old data and append it right? yes yes so Mm, i'm not sure but uh, we'll see that one also okay, okay. not in today but uh, uh, okay. normal file reading class we will see okay so any doubt on uh, csv files other than this one so yeah yeah, yeah, Here, but, yeah. Hmm. Uh, so we can have one more for um, can you scroll up here okay okay we can, here we can have one more for loop uh, mm -hmm. if you want to print everything then uh, like uh the condition will be csv csv values dot data of i uh, and then so here you are saying data of i i dot length i dot length okay and then uh, here it should be sorry it should be j j equal to 
Okay, j equal to zero, and uh, j, all j, the yeah, everything becomes j r other variable. Yeah. Okay, and that of i comma j i at i j, then it will print everything, right? Uh, is it correct? Yes. Okay. So in what format you want to print? That is also important. Okay. So now uh, just guess what format it prints. Hey, does it print uh, one below the other? Yes. did not it print it did not print okay so you see all this we're getting up data of i print it of say one of zero of zero it should print it Let's rerun it. Okay, it did not print. Let's see why it's not printing. Okay, for example, let's remove the header for this purpose. Okay, and then run it. Okay, it is printing. If you can see, everything got printed. Yeah. Okay, including the headers. So, for example, if you want to print it as a string or something, <clears throat> okay, you might need like a comma, comma, something like that. Then you can go with the uh, new variables. No, not actually. You can you cannot even go with the new variables. Okay, so you have to print it line by line only here. Okay. So, for example, you have i, okay? So, it gives you a, what it gives? Array or a list, okay? Mm -hmm. Data of i. Now, if you want to print it as a string, like if you want to print it as a commas. So, now if I print this one, let's see what we get it. It gives you like a, yeah, array and a comma separated values, all three values. All three rows actually. Okay, we got all the things in the format of this one. But sometimes what you might expect is you want these values something like this. If you are expecting something this way. Right? This is the way if you want means what you have to do is you have to put a dot and you know maybe it's not giving you suggestions but what uh, when you work with this uh, TypeScript and uh, JavaScript you will get to know like all the methods. Okay. okay. So it is called join. Join with what? Okay, it will ask. So for example, join with Angular. Angular braces. So I'm using greater than sign. So it should print now as like uh, the first row, Angular braces, second row, Angular braces, third row. That's it. But it should print it as a string. Okay, it will print it as a string rather than as a arrays. Okay. So is it possible to bring these values into a browser? Yeah, we should print. Okay, we will be able to print, right? Yeah. Because it's the same, just we are reading data. So there, uh, wherever we have like URL or whenever we want to set a value or whenever we want to read values, something like uh, read a locator or something, we can read it and then we can use it. Yes. 
okay so uh, any other doubts now no problem no problem okay so today we are just seeing this how to read and write the csv files so writing we did not see much because whatever the string if you have a comma separated we can write it into a file with a dot csv extension it becomes normally a csv format okay so if you have only writing uh, operations means no need to install this pop up parser also okay but uh, the thing is like just know okay just uh, let me ask like how will you uh, read the file csv file okay without using pop up parser Give like, me steps. Hmm. Like we uh, will uh, we'll import the FS module and we'll write we'll directly read with the file uh, file print, file read, uh, FS read print. Okay. But uh, do we need to convert uh, the the read one into a string? How do we convert? No, UTR eight will do. Uh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. So. U T R right. Sorry. Not U T R. U T F. Ah, uh, U T F eight. Yeah. So it's uh, nothing but unified coding. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this one make your buffer into your uh, string format. String format. Yeah. Okay. And then you can have uh, if you have delimiters, you can have a delimiter parameter, and then you can provide a different parameters. so that you will be able to read them uh, based on uh, custom you know custom delimiters okay so but before doing that kind of part what you have to do is just try to print the total object okay so here we have object right so ignore this one and just use this format just try to print the total object you will get to know like most of the information of about that particular csv file Okay. Okay. I'm just running it. Yes. Here you can see like what is the delimiter, line break, and uh, remaining values like uh, <coughs> here it shows like uh, error. Okay, error is nothing but like a uh, delimiter is not given, so it will take like. comma delimiter and then it is a metadata so this is a key and this is the values for that key if you want to retry only meta you can get the meta also just by putting meta okay similarly you can get the errors Without this pop up part, so we cannot read right uh, single single I mean single row uh, single array. Why can't we? We can read. Okay, let's try that one. Yeah. So here it uh, just printed this metadata. If you can see it. Okay. So consider the same file. Okay. Let's remove this pop up parts. Okay, now we have uh, this particular format. If you Maybe print, it will print the total thing, right? Okay. So I got it. Okay. Now you have to split it based on the new lines first. Sorry. Okay. Okay. If you split new lines, you will get like first value as this one, second value, third value, fourth value. okay now again you split this values using comma or any given uh, uh, delimiter so that you will get two ways okay so uh, sanjay as sometime back he was telling like if you use two loops 
you will get two different values all the values basically row by column okay so that's all for the day if you have any doubts just ask me or you can ask tomorrow also on this one okay okay because uh, mostly we will not be using excel files okay we'll see it tomorrow but okay. you know it is better to use csv files in most of the places and it's lightweight compared with your excel files okay 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 guys then yeah thanks bro thanks guys thanks